Hi, welcome to RobMiracle.com. This is going to be a Photoshop tutorial on a new tool that I've learned about that has drastically improved my workflow in being able to repair problems with photos. In this photo with the fabulous model Corey Lee, you can see that my background has got a tear in it. There are some unsightly creases. I've got a dust spot here at the top. And if I scroll down to the bottom, we can see that there is more damage to the background that needs to be repaired. Looks like a couple of additional dust spots that need to be cleaned up as well. Previously, we would do this with the healing brush or the clone or rubber stamp tool. Um, but if you've used those before, you know it can be a little time consuming to be able to touch out uh, areas, particularly where you've got these uh, transitions from a lighter gray to a darker gray and to be able to blend that out well. Well, there's a tool available in Adobe Photoshop CS3 and CS4. Uh, it could possibly be in CS2, but it was not available in CS1 and earlier called the Patch Tool. To get to the Patch Tool, you come over here under the button for the Healing Brush, and if you hold down the cursor, a flyout menu will appear, and you'll see this option for the Patch Tool. Now, the Patch Tool is really simple to work with. It's a lot like the uh, lasso tool where you're going to lasso an area that you want to fix. And you see that it's selected that area and now I just drag the selection to an area that I want it to borrow pixels from to replace the damaged area. And I let up with my mouse cursor and lo and behold the area is patched. It will work beautifully on this spot of dust and again, a seamless patching. I can work on even some of these more complex areas. I'll have to be careful not get, to get too close to her hair as it will want to sample from that. I'm just kind of drag it down to an area that I want to borrow from again and let it go. The larger the area, the more time it will take to do the patching. But you can see it's almost seamless when it comes down to it. Now I can work in here fairly close to her hair as long as I keep my patch area reasonably small and grab it from another area. And just like that, blemishes on the background. Disappear from the photo. Now we get down into difficult areas like this where we've got sharp shadow transitions you have to be a little careful with your selection. I just click, drag the area you want to get and it's gone. Now I'm going to clean up the spot that's along this edge. I'll grab a little extra tear right there and I'll just slide it down here. And It kind of gives you a visual idea of what it's going to replace it with. And just like that, it's gone. Clean up these little areas. And that's it. That's the wonders of the patch tool. Um, if you want to get rid of the selection, you could do Control D to get rid of the selected area. But in that brief time, I cleaned up a very damaged background and given it a very smooth and more pleasant look. Thank you, and I hope you've enjoyed this.